For those of you that aren't from Southern California, there's actually a really popular steakhouse out here called Mastro's. I go there all the time and their most popular dessert on the menu is their butter cake. But it is far, like far from low carb. So this is my take on the butter cake. This is gonna be just a much, much healthier version. And the best part is that it's sugar-free and low carb. Make sure that your butter is softened, just it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So we have our butter already in the bowl. We have a little bit of vanilla. So this is actually vanilla extract. You can also use vanilla flavoring, but for something like this, where it's like very minimal ingredients, I usually tend to go for higher quality, you know, like, like an actual extract versus the flavor. So that's what I'm using today, but if what you have is flavor, trust me, it's gonna work. So this is just powdered sweetener. Um, so now what we're doing is just kind of blending the butter into the sweetener. Okay, so at this point with the butter and the sweetener, what you want is just to get it nice and smooth like this before we toss in our eggs, okay? That looks good enough, so now let's toss in our eggs. Okay, so right now we are just incorporating all the wet ingredients. Once we get that mixed in and it's nice and smooth, we will move over to our dry ingredients. So as you can see, the texture is a little chunky. No problem, it's all gonna get mixed in together. Um, the only thing you do wanna make sure is that your eggs are room temperature. It's just gonna make everything a lot easier for everything to um, just kind of blend in together. We'll set this aside. And so now for our dry ingredients, we have almond flour, and then we have a little coconut flour, and we have our baking powder. And don't forget a little pinch of salt. And now let's go ahead and give this a good mix just to make sure all the dry ingredients are well incorporated. Okay, so dry is mixed. Now we have our wet. Let's go ahead and add the mix into the wet and mix that together. And this is going to be the base of our cake. Okay, so this was looking a little dry. Duh, I forgot to add the almond milk. So we're gonna add in our almond milk and now give it a good mix. So this is what your texture of the cake should look like. I'll show you right now. Okay, so here we have our little ramekins. I'm actually gonna use three of them. And you can do one big cake, but I'm gonna do three small. So batter is done. We are gonna spray it with some avocado oil because you definitely don't want your cake sticking. You wanna make sure it is well oiled. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fill these up to, I would say about three fourths of the way. And these will rise a little, so you don't wanna overfill. Okay, so these are perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and get them into the oven for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna show you what they should look like when they're done. What we're gonna do now is make our raspberry sauce. So we're gonna make it from scratch. If you have raspberry jam, you can totally use that. But look at how easy this is. Just take a look at how easy this is. You can actually make a big batch and then store it in like a mason jar. And then you have fresh homemade raspberry jam. So we have, these are just unsweetened raspberries. They're frozen. Throw them in. We have our sweetener. Let's go ahead and mix this together. So here, our goal is to basically just cook down the raspberries. You're gonna cook them for maybe about like five to seven minutes until it gets nice and thick. So I am gonna add a little splash of lemon juice. This is fresh squeezed lemon juice um, because I like mine tarty. Like I like it sweet, but tarty. Does that make sense? Um, but if you like it just like really sweet, then don't even worry about the lemon juice. So as you can see, this is super quick. It's already basically coming together. Now, if you use fresh raspberries, which you totally can, it's just gonna take a little bit longer, but the frozen, boom. Look at, like less than one minute, it's almost done. Okay, so this literally took a minute from start to finish to make a homemade from scratch raspberry sauce. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and strain the seeds from our sauce. Now, I know it does seem tedious, but this is going to avoid you having any little seeds in your teeth. So if you like the seeds, because some people do, I personally don't mind it, um, then you could obviously just skip this step, but it'll be worth it at the end because you'll have a nice smooth raspberry sauce. So our butter cake is all done. Now we're gonna go ahead and let it cool and then we're gonna plate it. 
Okay, so I'm just running a butter knife through the sides. It's still warm, but it's not hot anymore because we are actually going to flip it. Flip over. Woo! Beautiful. Look at that. You already know it's nice and moist in there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so our butter cake is served. We have our caramel sauce. We're using the one from Chalk Zero because it's no sugar added, low in carbs. Um, I'll leave everything linked in the description below, so don't worry about that. Then we have our raspberry syrup all that for this little bit, I know. But trust me, it's not gonna have seeds, it's totally worth it. Now again, if you don't mind the seeds, then just do it right out of, you know, right off the stove top. And then we have our homemade uh, mason jar ice cream. I have a vi video and recipe for this, which will also be in the description below. So now we're gonna go ahead and plate this. So this is what happens when you don't let your cake cool completely. <laughs> it started melting on me, but it still looks beautiful. It's gonna taste delicious. Now, I was gonna add caramel sauce, but I double checked and I looked up the Mastro's um, butter cake and it doesn't have caramel, so we're just gonna leave it out. I'll still leave it lean for you in case you're interested, but we're not adding it. We're just gonna leave it as is. So let's go in for the taste test, guys, right now. Let's just go ahead and cut it. Oh, 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 it's all falling in, it's falling in, it's caving in. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, all right, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> it actually tastes like it. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Okay, I am so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. Texture spot on. The taste is as close as you're gonna get to it. Like keto or not keto, low carb or not low carb, this tastes like their butter cake. Go to your kitchen right now and make this and then come back and comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know how close to the real deal it is because this, my friends, is a 10 out of 10. And if you're, it, this could be made like for a birthday party, or even just like an individual size, you can obviously make them in the ramekins so that you, you know, for portion control, cause I'm not gonna lie, tastes amazing. I probably put down half a cake. So the fact that you're able to make it in a little ramekin is gonna keep you from overeating. Go, go, right now, go make it. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave everything that I used as well as the recipe in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, show me some love, and don't forget, share the channel and the recipe with friends and family that are living the low carb lifestyle or that you know are obsessed with the Mastro's butter cake, but would love a much healthier version. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.